Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you can see me. Let me know if you can. Hopefully you're watching the live show, <laughs> not a recording. showing up okay all right okay I see the chat now I don't know what was going on who knows too many things went south all of a sudden you can see and hear me okay good all right, I'm just going to say blanket hello to everybody. <laughs> I'm just saying blanket hello to everyone. And it's, uh, let me just say, it's good to be here. It is good to be here. Because it's been a while, right? I may not be here very long, but I'm here for now. So anyway, having some tea with you. It is Friday. I wish my Fridays would be drama free again. <laughs> no day seems to be drama free at the moment. But that's, you know, sometimes that's what life is. That's sometimes that's what life is. Anyway, it's good to see you guys. Good to be here. Okay. Mm, right? Sometimes that's what a person needs to do. Okay. Sorry I was late. I am a few minutes late. Things just kind of went south all of a sudden. Or sideways. Or whatever other way we want to describe it. It's good to see all of you. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for being here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good reminder. <laughs> yeah, I thought I would get something planned to do. I sort of have a plan, but it hasn't come together. So, yeah. Can you tell my shoulders are up? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Just looking to see what we could do. We'll talk about this. We have a new family member. Brand new family member. And her name is Bella. Oh, Joyce, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. Um... Let's not get me being sappy, shall we? <laughs> Let's not get Barb being sappy. Um, hi, Gina and Julie and everybody that's here. Thank you for joining. And I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. There are just some days where um, I just don't have the energy. And last week we had the VIP class, which any anybody that's here that's a VIP class member who hasn't seen, who wasn't able to be there with us, it, I'll get it, I'll get it up. I just haven't gotten it done. Um, anyway, it was pretty much a disaster. <laughs> pretty much a disaster. Oh, uh, anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's just be where we are, shall we? Let's be where we are. Anyway, new family member, new family member. Her name is Bella. And Bella is not here in my house. She lives with Race and Izzy in California. 
And so I will show you a picture of Bella. Okay, are you ready to just be knocked off your feet? Okay, watch out. Here is Bella. Please meet and welcome to our family, Bella. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Look at that. That, this is Bella. <laughs> and she is about the sweetest little thing ever. Ever. She is so adorable. She came from, um, I believe it was Idaho, and she has gone to live in her new home in California. And she is the sweetest puppy. She is just, she's probably right about nine weeks now. So Race had to fly from LA to Las Vegas and the breeder had brought her and one of her siblings to Las Vegas to meet with the people who they were going to go live with. And so Race flew into Las Vegas, met the breeder. He had sent them a crate, a travel airline crate, and so that the puppy was familiar with that and had been in and out of it quite a bit. And um, yes, she's a golden retriever. <laughs> and so she was familiar with her crate. This was the coolest crate. It was, I have a travel crate that for the cats, but this one, all the sides and the ends have a zip thing and it folds out. So the sides fold out and the ends fold out. And then there's also a zip at the top. So as they were waiting, she had room to stretch out. I mean, she won't be able to be in that crate very long, but you know, another couple of weeks, she won't be able to fit in it. But oh my goodness. You know, he sent pictures of her, and she's all stretched out, you know, feet out the side and her head out the one end, and her, and she was just tapped out completely. Of course, she'd been worn out traveling and all of that, and oh my goodness, you talk about an adorable baby. And she had to fly home to L.A., <laughs> so their adventure begins. So here she is again. This is Bella. Miss Bella. And so I want to do something with Bella. And I thought I would uh, make a make something with Bella's image. And um, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see. But there's this is from an iPhone picture. And then I have made a, a rough tracing of Bella. So, let's see. So there you can see. She is an English, I believe she's an English cream golden retriever. She is, like I said, about, she's about nine weeks old. She weighs, and he took her to the vet on... Tuesday. She weighed 19, I think it was 19 and a half pounds. <laughs> tell me how big this girl's going to get. Yeah, tell me how big this girl's going to get. So I got um, a text message this morning. I know, Tori, right? She's just adorable. Um, so I got a text message this morning because apparently race is up first. <laughs> this is like shifts with a baby because she is a baby. She's an infant, tiny infant, although she's big. She's tiny. She seems very bright. Last night I got a video that she was watching cartoons and she was totally engaged with Elmer Fudd. <laughs> she was hot in the TV with her little head going back and forth. You know how puppies do. And um, so she was totally engaged with the cartoon. I don't know if it was Cartoon Network or what. But anyways, Elmer Fudd. And she was having a blast watching 
cartoons. Anyway, this morning I got a, a text or a video. This was early. It was bright and early in California. And Bella had um, tried to get them up and everybody was too tired. <laughs> so she took a big poop in her crate. And then, of course, as puppies will do, they, um, they, they lie in it or they um, walk around in it or whatever. Because they have no sense. They have no sense, right? This little girl has no sense yet because she's still a wee little baby. So first thing this morning, she had to have a bath. <laughs> like bright and early, she had to have a bath. <laughs> I have to tell you, I laughed about it. Is race here? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, anyway, I told him, hi, Laura and everybody. Hi, Popo and everybody that's here. Thank you for... Uh, Thank you for coming. Um, anyway, she had to have a bath and at the what we call the crack of dark 30. But that's their fault because they didn't get up with her. <laughs> She's so cute. And then, of course, you know how babies are after they get up and they do their whatever and they play a little bit. Then she went... Bonk. It's just like somebody takes a, a thing and taps her on the head and she the, the magic wand. She goes, bonk, and she was tapped out completely, totally asleep. Such a funny girl. Funny puppy. Anyway, that's Bella, our newest family member. No, it's not the puppy's fault at all. And he knew that. He knew that. And nobody was mad at her. You know, you can't get mad at her. How could you get mad at that sweet little face? How could you get mad at that? Anyway, so I thought what we would do, um, I, and to be quite honest, I have no idea how long I'll last. Maybe an hour. <laughs> could be longer. You never know. I thought we would go over this. This is just a tracing I did, just a loose tracing of... Um, the puppy. I might put another piece of paper on this. Let's try this. That's right, Janice, and that's the how of it. That's right. So, Rick and Izzy are deep in the puppy rearing business. Which I think is wonderful. It's good to have the energy, new energy, isn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take, because this is the thing that I had could put my hand on first, if it works. Seems like it's going to. And I'm going to simplify the lines of this even a little bit more and make kind of a cartoon out of it. We were we had lots of pictures of Bella uh, before she went to live in her new home, and um, the there were I don't know eight or nine puppies in the litter I can't remember. A lot of puppies, a lot of puppies, and I can't talk and do this. Anyway, he, one of the pictures he sent me, he said, ours is the one with the flyaway hair. So, she does have, she does have flyaways. <laughs> That's what you see on her ears. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Um, so, anyway, let's, um, I'm just going to simplify all the lines as much as possible. And to be quite honest, I don't even care when it's over with if it doesn't quite look like her. It's okay. I just need to do something and just to be here with you guys.
All right. But she's so stinking cute. Ugh. She's got all the puppy, the puppy antics. There's so much work, but oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. So cute. Okay. I hope that's you, Race. <laughs> I'm assuming it is. <laughs> All of a sudden, things were moving around on my computer. It's like either that or I got a gremlin. Alright, that's all I'm going to do, and then we're just going to go from there. They are wonderful, aren't they? They just are. Okay, so this is going to be our map. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do from here. No idea. I'm going to go get my art journal that has some stuff in it. And maybe we can uh, do something. I don't know. Shall we? Okay. Let me go get my journal. think the bunny survived that Muppet our Muppet is a she has a very strong prey drive very strong and so yeah the mama bunnies sometimes make a mistake and build a nest in our backyard all right let's see if we can find something something in here that's got some stuff on it that's relatively flat. It's kind of flat, flattish. Not that. How about this one? We'll start here. Alright, we'll start on this page. It's a kind of a two-page thing, but we're going to do one page. Hi, Dana. Double doodle. Hi, Marion. Double doodle. Isn't that a cute? I, the other day, our granddaughter was home a couple weeks ago when Race was here. <laughs> she, she was talking about a friend of hers that had a reverse doodle. And it's like, wait, a reverse doodle? Reverse doodle, double doodles. There's a lot of doodling going on. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to put a puppy on here. And I'm going to break all the rules and put it right in the middle of the page. Because mm -hmm. it's really just about Miss Puppy. And recording her entrance into the family. And I truly have not gotten any further in my thought process than this, <laughs> than the drawing. So this may continue next week. I hope 
hope you guys are doing well. I apologize for anyone who's here for some sort of uplifting encouragement. <laughs> it's probably not happening here. But I'm here. That's a step. That's a step. That's a victory, right? That is a victory. Suddenly makes me want to break into song. <laughs> Which, of course, I won't. All right, so I've taped my pattern on. And this is graphite paper. And I'm going to transfer transfer my image. I hope. We'll find out. I'm going to use a thicker stylus. Let's see if I can get a thicker line out of it. That'll be easier to see. That other one works really well for really detailed transfers. That's better. But when you want, um, you need a little thicker line, that's not a good one because it's extremely sharp. Now, nobody gets to be super... Um, well, you can be. I can't stop you. I was going to say, nobody gets to be super critical about this, but you can be. I don't care. These are kind of like the drawings I did for, did of the cats that, the cats and Muppet that we did. Gosh, seems like forever ago, because I think it was. My, my thumb, the end of my thumb has a giant crack in it, so it's really tender, you guys. Really tender. I didn't have time to glue it up before I started. So, if I look like I'm having trouble hanging on to things, it's because I am. My hands are in water so much right now that they just crack and carry on. I can't keep enough stuff on them to keep them healed up. Again, as Janice says, that is just the how of it. Mm -hmm. Well... We've got some things, so what we're going to do, see if I can go over it with a pencil. And I'm sorry I'm not reading the chat, but I can't, I seem to not be able to do a lot of things at the same time. But I want to get the lines on here so you can at least see. It's great to have you all here. On this Friday, we've had an extraordinarily chilly um, couple of weeks. God makes puppies, babies, and kittens adorable, so we'll keep them. <laughs> They're so cute that we want to keep them. Otherwise, we'd be tempted to try to send them back, you know? Alright, 
this part I think we can see. All right, I gotta get the line over here for her, the rest of her, the rest of her ear, because I can't see it through this paper. So let's see if we can do it again. If I could just grip and push hard enough, grip with my thumb hard enough to be able to get the leverage I need. It is just not going to transfer onto this, so I'm going to have to kind of make it up here. This is being so ornery. This green paper is very ornery to be able to see the line. But where there's a will, there's a way, people, right? Okay, we got it. Can you see that? I hope you can. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see her now, right? I have I have all kinds of, of hand products. It's not that I don't have the stuff, it's that it doesn't stay on because my hands, I wash my hands so much. But thank you for the suggestion. All suggestions are welcome. Okay, so we have a puppy. We have a puppy face. And that's what we're going to do is a puppy face. Okay, so, okay, that's as far as I've even thought. So guess what? You guys are going to help me paint this puppy and do whatever with this puppy. What do you think I ought to do? You think I should collage around the puppy and then figure out how to paint the puppy face? What do you think I should do? I'm going to let you I'm going to let you tell me what you think I should do and I'll try it. <laughs> I'm not saying I'll be successful, but I'm saying I'll try it. Anybody have ideas? Put them in the chat. Ellie says, paint the puppy face. You think we should, nobody's putting anything in there. <laughs> Collage the puppy face. You think the gloves in a bottle might help? Hmm. I hadn't thought about doing that. I might try that. It's a good idea. I might try that. I have that. Oh my goodness, Marilyn. I hope you get better fast. Collage. Paint the puppy face. Yes, paint his face. Now it says uh, doodles. Ah, Amber thinks she needs jewelry. What do you think? What kind of jewelry do you think she should have? <laughs> Joycey says both. <laughs> Collage around the puppy face. Let's put something around the puppy face so it defines the puppy face. At least a wash of color of some kind. So let's do that. So since she is a really light color, I am basically lost in my own studio. <laughs> Let me get some water and pick a color.
I have some water. Somewhere here I have some brushes. I need one with some size. Just a second. All the brushes go, you guys. Where did my brushes go? Somebody snuck in here and stole my brushes. All right. I got a brush. Holy mackerel. It's a lot harder than you would think it should be. <laughs> Palette. And some blues. <laughs> right, Laura? Oh, goodness. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is just put some color around the puppy just so I can define where the puppy is. How about that? So we can define where Miss Bella is. Her, uh, the breeders called her Faith, and so I thought she should be called Bella Faith just because. So I thought that was a cute name. All right, that should be like oodles and gobs of paint. Let's try it, shall we? Lost my brush. Here it is. Listen, if you came here to learn anything, you need to go on somewhere else, people. <laughs> you need to go. So you need to take a hike and go somewhere else. I'm telling you, we're not learning anything here. Not today. Okay, let's go for it. Let's just. Slap some paint on here. Probably be the best thing I ever ever did, you know. When your when your brain goes on hiatus, sometimes that's when you do the best stuff. Yeah, if you came here to learn anything, you're not gonna learn anything here. Nope, not today. I'm basically here just to be here. <laughs> I'm here to be here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see if we can define this sweet little girl. I'm going to call her Bella Faith. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call her Bella Faith, whether anybody calls her that or not. I don't know if you guys remember or not, when my granddaughter was in college here at the university, she was a, what do they call, I think she her title was Puppy Raiser for, I think it was Paws, Paws, P-A-W-S, with a purpose. I think that was the organization. And so she did the, she had so many jobs when she was in college, bless her heart. She was a busy kid. And anyway, she had this puppy. Um, let's see, what was his name? He ended up being renamed Bentley, I think. I never can remember which was his call name. And Anyway, it doesn't matter. He was being raised to be, uh, or he was being trained to be a helper dog, and he was a golden retriever. Super adorable. God, that was a cute puppy. And every once in a while, he had to go with her everywhere. He had to go to classes, and because what her job was was to socialize him. And, uh, He was such a good puppy. What was his name? I can't remember. Anyway, so he was a golden golden retriever. He grew up to be a big boy. And he, he was one of the puppies that um, passed. Most, most dogs that go into those programs really don't pass. Um, they end up 
they end, end up um, failing out for various reasons. Either there's something wrong with them physically or mentally. They're not cut out for the work that they have to do. And these particular dogs in this program were very specifically raised and trained for... They were trained for specific situations, I should say. And... Um, God, he was cute. He made it through the program, and he went to live with a little girl who was wheelchair-bound, and he was her, um, he was a big golden, and he was her stability. That was what he did. You know, he had to be strong enough and stable enough to help her stand up and stuff like that. And my granddaughter would have him. She and one other person were the puppy raisers. And so if if he wasn't with one, he couldn't be in the crate very long. And so, um, you know, they had to move that puppy back and forth between the two girls. And then every so often he would be shoveled off to the, the uh, women's prison because that's where he was trained. It was a women's prison in the state here. And so they would train, do the training there, which I thought was pretty interesting. Anyway, he, he passed the program and went on to, to help his new little girl. And my granddaughter was able to go to the prison because that's where the the ceremony was he was a, she was able to go to his graduation at the the prison and she had to pass all kinds of you know clearance type things and all that to go in and get to see him officially go on to his new his new person and of course, you know me, I'm such a sap, so I was, I was really, you know, I'm happy and I'm sad and I'm emotional and all that stuff when she was showing me the pictures and the videos. And I said, oh, it's just so, it's so wonderful, but it's also so sad. And she said, oh, no, it wasn't sad at all. She said it was just so great, you know. She is such a cool kid. <sighs> such a good, good, good kid. Bye, Laura. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Okay. So, we have Puppy showing up. So, I'm just going to keep going around. The whole reason I'm doing this is just so that I can see the puppy. Because if I don't do something, I'm not never going to see this critter. Yeah, so what's the weather like where you guys are? It's been unseasonably cool here. We'll be complaining and carrying on before you know it about the heat and humidity. <laughs> That's a given because that happens. Yeah, because that happens. We live in a part of the United States that the humidity is brutal sometimes. Often it's brutal. Alright, so I will, you know, do more stuff. Full of pollen, Janice. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Hey, Linda McAllister. How many people do we have here today? Somebody can put it in the chat if you would. Because I'm just curious, that's all. Just curious. Sorry about last week. Um, just wasn't, wasn't in the cards last week. 
Wasn't sure if it was going to work this week or not, but I made it. I made it. The thing about working in an art journal is you can play around with something, and if it doesn't turn out, who cares? You just get the gesso out and gesso over the top of it. Black gesso does wonders. Hey, Becky, 95. Okay, thanks. Thank you. I just was curious. My computer decided it was going to, it wasn't, or my program, my streaming software decided it wasn't going to see one of the cameras today. And I'm like, what is up with that? You know, it's always some crazy thing, isn't it? When you stream, it's like, it's like the streaming part of it is, that's the easy part. It's all the technology and stuff that makes you a little cuckoo. Yeah, so it decided it wasn't going to see my cameras, my one camera. And so then I thought, all right, well, you know, usually we had a, we had a situation the other day. We were sitting outside on our deck and all of a sudden there was a big pop off in the distance. That usually means that a squirrel has um, gotten into a transformer. May he rest in peace. And I don't know why they do that. They eat the insulation or something. It's like, what is up with that? And it never ends well for the squirrel. Never ends well for the squirrel. Anyway, we heard this big pop. And, you know, neither one of us thought too much about it until we went inside and we had no electricity. And then you go... Ah, because it happens this time of year. It happens pretty much every year somewhere in the neighborhood and takes the electricity. And then, of course, it takes the city and blue, the skies were blue. Everything was beautiful. There was no rain. There was no anything. So it takes the city a while to throw the switch and do whatever it is they have to do to put it back on. Anyway, I don't even know why I got off on that stupid story. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you guys. Apologies for the distracted nature of my of myself right now. Okay, can you see the puppy? We can see the puppy now. Don't you think? Okay. I'm thinking that I'm going to, if I don't do anything else today, I'm going to paint the, paint the puppy's eyes. I have a lot of paint left over, so let's put it in a journal, shall we? I'll give that a little chance to dry too. Alright, let's get this out. Yeah, Dorothy's always in favor of eyes. This is another journal that I had. This is one of the Diane Reevely journals. It's a square one. And I started this. This was Nano Jumo, Nano Jumo from 2015. So there was a whole list of prompts. I only got a few of them done. This was just left over from a class that I did. That was my pattern, so I stuck it in here. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a place to stick the paint in here. So I figured if I'm going to do that, I might as well let you look at the journal, huh? Okay. So... Um, I don't know what the prompts were. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. They're just kind of fun to 
look through. I haven't looked through this one in quite a while. Huh. My home is a sacred space. Yeah, for real. I feel like that about my home. We're gonna have I'm gonna have someone coming to um, help here with a few things on starting next week. She's a physical therapy student, and uh, so that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to have other people in my home after so long of not having anybody. You know, you go through the whole pandemic thing, and having anybody in your space is this giant huge threat you know and so anyway we're gonna we're hoping that's gonna be a really perfect situation but anyway so that's what what this was about I don't know what this was about who knows scribble that's what it says that must have been the prompt scribbling oh these were the scribbly birds the Diane Reevely no Dina Wakely scribbly birds these are my hot buttons <laughs> I forgot about I forgot this journal this is my bucket list this is my bucket list mm -hmm. so that's my list it's my bucket list so I think that this bucket I don't know if I cut that I think I might have cut that out of a magazine or something and then painted over it yeah. Hi, J Hi Beth. Um, this is a quote from whoever that is. Home is not just the place where you happen to be born. It's the place where you, be you become yourself. So here's all our friends and family. Um, I don't know what this was. Oh, I think this was just painting over with a bunch of random paints and then finding shapes inside the inside the paints. I'm not real great at that. Um, yeah, I'm not real great at that. Anyway. So, any hoot. Things to climb. That was an interesting exercise. This is ugly. Ugh. This was a fun image. Of course, it's just, uh, it's all made out, it's a structure made out of pennies. And, um, but then it's stuck together. Like, oh well. That's a mess. Okay, now we're over into the places where we'll scrape some paint on here, huh? This is this is just a pattern. So it doesn't make any difference. I glued it in here just to have some place to stick it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's still an eye poking out. All right, got rid of that paint. That's good. All right, let's paint these puppy eyes. I think she has really dark eyes, I believe. And so we're going to, I'm going to get some browns here. My paints are in kind of pathetic shape. Kind of pathetic shape. Okay. We'll see if we can make something out of these. 
add these colors. Um, I have charcoal and um, burnt sienna. All of these paints are in terrible shape. And brown velvet. My paints are in terrible shape. Say la vie. The paints are in terrible shape. Okay. All right. I got to see if I can shake these up enough to uh, get some paint squeezed out. And give me just a second. I need to take care of something. So this one is brown velvet, so we'll put a little brown velvet on the palette. And because I couldn't find the black, we're using charcoal graph, charcoal, opaque charcoal. I can't get my bottles open. That's pathetic. Ugh. Oh, well. Anyway, I told you if you came here to learn anything, <laughs> this is not the place to be. <laughs> I can't get the paint out. Great. All right, let's try again. Oh, I found some black. All right. This is ebony black, so surely between these colors and a little white highlight, we ought to get an eye out of it, don't you think? Okay, deep breath. Okay. Let's start with the burnt sienna. Now I've got enough paint out here for uh, lots of eyes. Lots and lots of eyes, I do. Where is said puppy girl? Let's look at her eyes. I don't think I can tell. They just look really, really, really dark. Yeah, they just look super dark. That's okay. I could probably incorporate some black into them, but we're just going to play. It doesn't matter. doesn't even have to look like her. We just want to put some eyeballs on here. Because it's always good that different people approach um, animals and faces, human faces, animal faces, different ways. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to do the eyes first. Oh, my thumb is so sore. <laughs> God, you guys. If I start bleeding on this, I'm, I'm going to be upset. Hopefully not. That darn crack. It's just in the wrong spot. You know, when you get it right on the surface where you touch and grip things. Oh, I should stop complaining. I should be grateful I have a thumb. Or as um, a couple of guys I watch on YouTube, Arna and Carlos, they're designers in Norway. 
and Arna always calls the thumb, he calls, he pronounces it tum. So he does, he knits mittens with it and divides for the tum, <laughs> which I think is funny. <laughs> Okay. We have an eyeball. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. You like Arna and Carlos too? I really like them. I just enjoy their... I enjoy what they do. I enjoy what they show. I think they're really funny. Oh, so come on. There we go. If you don't follow them, it's, um, they're quite interesting. If you like, if you like knitting and that kind of stuff, it's pretty interesting. And they design lots of things. They don't design just knitwear and crochet. They also have written a number of books on different subjects. Their bird book is fascinating. I've thought a few times about purchasing it, and then I thought, I'm never going to make a bird. I'm never going to knit a bird. There is absolutely no reason for me to buy their bird book. <laughs> other than I just wanted it. You know how that is? So, I've so far been able to talk myself out of it. But they have books of, lots of books and lots of patterns, Qu or quite a few books. They have a Christmas book um, called Christmas Balls or something like that, which, read into that as you wish. Um, as I said, I, I enjoy doing the eyes first because uh, I think it's kind of fun to have get the eyes finished and then let the the being watch you paint the rest of them. Somehow it, it helps me kind of have um, I don't know motivates me somehow. Anyway, we have a start. We have a start. I'm going to clean my paintbrush out here. And you know what? If this doesn't turn out like anything, we don't care. <laughs> okay? We don't care. Maybe I'll put some brown in on her nose. Her nose is really dark, so maybe we'll, while that's kind of setting up a little bit, we'll put in some brown for her nose, dark brown. Her nose is super dark. Sometimes you just need to get, you know, get some color in, you know, just to start. And then let the rest of it kind of show up as it will. 
let the colors come together after that. And of course, because there's collage underneath this, it's going to be affected. That's going to affect the paint and stuff on the top of it. I need a nap. <laughs> Clearly did not get enough sleep last night. I will get one after bit. Yes, I will. I can stream no more than two hours and then I sleep for two hours. <laughs> my stamina. You guys, my stamina. Ah, crazy, isn't it? It's funny how things can can uh, Do weird stuff. Your energy can do weird stuff, can it? So I'm just, I know you can't see. Maybe that's better. Huh. Don't you love it when finally the streamer looks up and goes, oh, nobody can see. Excellent. So I'm using just that, whatever that darker brown was. What was that? Brown velvet. Just to give her a little more, a little more depth in her eyes, maybe. We're going to give her a black pupil here in a minute. And because nothing was gessoed underneath this, it's uh, the paint's not the paint's not cooperating with me too well. It's not wanting to slide around as much as I would like for it to. person should be able to talk and do this at the same time. Okay, let's go to some black. Let's give her a black, nice black pupil. Because we can, we're going to take some artist license. Paints need to be replenished in the worst kind of way. Well, it kind of looks like she's getting an eye. It helps to be able to look in the computer monitor. like she's getting an eye. It's always dicey to get the second eye to be um, 
relatable to the first one. They don't have to be exactly the same size because the the shot, the photo, may or may not be um, her head may be, you know, slightly tilted or the camera was a little further away or something and so the eyes are not necessarily identical. In fact, none of us have two identical eyes. If we did, we'd look very strange. If I get two eyes that look like eyes, I'm going to call it a grand success. <laughs> yeah, I'll call it a big success. It's always a good idea to try out your ideas um, before going live on YouTube or any other streaming platform. In case you couldn't tell, that didn't happen here. So we're just playing and seeing what we what we get. And hopefully, hopefully Miss Bella Faith doesn't hold it against me too much. Mm, it's okay. It's all right. And it's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. There's always black gesso, my friends. There's always black gesso. Okay, I'm going to sideload my brush with some of this dark brown and a little black. Acrylic and I are not necessarily the best of friends, but most of the time we agree to disagree. We got some nice dark eyes happening. Um, I'm going to use a, if I can find one, a liner brush. Okay. 
Here's my brushes that I was digging for a minute ago. Let's see if I can find a liner brush. Here we go. And I'm going to use some black. You got to remember that these are just play eyes. These are not, it's not a portrait. That one's better than the first one. That's usually the way it goes where you go, oh well, that's. Okay, we're going to let that sit in a minute <laughs> because that's nice and soupy wet. Um, I was just looking at the chat for a minute. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can try this again. Sometimes it's the the angle that your arm, you know, is trying to paint at. And I splattered black paint down here, but oh well, it doesn't matter. All right, let's try again. slightly better slightly better and now we're going to give her a sparkle dot so she can look somewhere and then I can always come back and do some more on these later because she needs to look somewhere you know That's about as good as she's going to get right there for now for her eyes. I think I'll paint in her nostrils so that her nose looks a little more a little more like she's got a place to breathe. Because poor little thing's got to be able to breathe, don't you think? All right. Well, her nose will have many more layers of stuff, but at least she's got a place she can breathe. <laughs> poor little girl. Poor little thing. 
You like the eyes. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to put this palette away before I stick my hand in it. And um, there she is. At least she started. At least we got something done, right? At least we got something done. So you can see her background. And you never know, I may add a little bit of a body to her. Um, but, you know, she's like I said, she's not a portrait, but she's, I think she's almost recognizable. <laughs> I think she's almost recognizable. Hello, Sophia. So, I think we can almost recognize who she is if we look at the picture of her. Any hoot. So, there you go. I'm going to have to give it up for today. But thank you so much for coming. It's so nice to at least get to be here for a little bit with you guys. I think we'll probably, depending, we'll probably work on her the next time I stream. I would like to say next week. Could be next week. That's always my goal. And it just sort of depends on, sort of depends on the, the day and how things are going. Hi Joan, hey, you're welcome. I, I'm glad to be here. Um, I was going to show you a card that my granddaughter sent me, but I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Look at how beautiful this is. Look at the beautiful nature of this card. Her mother died a year ago, not quite a year ago. And so I have become her substitute mom. And she gave this card to me. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, thank you, Christine. That's very sweet. Isn't that the nicest card? I don't know how anybody thinks I'm a voice of reason. <laughs> anyway, it's what it is. Thank you all so much uh, for being here. And I will see you, hopefully, I hope to see you next week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, uh, weekend, and wherever you are that you're staying safe and healthy and happy. And I will see you again, hopefully before you know it. So remember to get creative today because you do know it is easy. I am finding that. I'm doing some creative things in, um, in chunks. And so I'm finding that it is easy to be creative. You just have to do it. So, yeah. It is important to be creative. Creativity is very important for so many parts of who we are. And um, yeah, so do that. Get some creativity going in your life. Oh, and also, um, Mary, the Mary Atia has, what's it called? Time for Art. Is that the name of it, Becky? The Hop, the Time for Art Hop, I think. Um... Yeah, I just saw that. We were great minds are on the same page, Becky. So that is tonight. That's with the Mary ITA and her group that um, are doing live streams. I think they start about quarter to six or something central time this evening. So uh, time for art. Hashtag time for art. And it's for the numeral for time for art. So, and she's doing, uh, the group this time is, I think the subject is fiber and fabric, I believe. So, all right, so check that out. They're, they're all recorded as well. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining me today. And hopefully I'll be back next week, but I definitely will see you next time. So everybody have a great day. See you again before you know it, I hope. Bye for now.